Tekashi 69 is back yet again with another video basically exposing the billboard and this time he drags Nicki Minaj and Jay-Z's name into the equation but I'm gonna get to that part a little bit later into the video now about three days ago Tekashi put out a video basically saying that he was robbed of the number one spot and he was exposing Ariana Grande's team saying that they spent money on buying out certain thing with the billboard so that she could have the number one spot now I understand how Tekashi Tekashi 69 feel he feels like everyone is against him some persons feel like he's paranoid some persons feel like he's actually speaking some facts now this video that Tekashi put out he's saying some you know he's making some serious accusations I'm not sure if he could be sued for what he's saying but I guess he's just speaking how he feels. Now, to be honest, I know most of y'all might be tired of the Tekashi 69 topics. But to be honest, a lot of persons out there, they are the one giving Tekashi this attention. But anyway, guys, I'm going to play the video. Y'all can tell me if you agree with Tekashi 69. Um, yeah, this guy will never stop. And I guess he plans to take down Billboard or he plans to just continue exposing Billboard as much as he can. But listen what Tekashi 69 had to say. So listen, I want the world to know that Billboard is a lie. You can buy number ones on Billboard. I want that to register in your head. You can buy number ones on Billboard. Now let me tell you what happened. We was having an ongoing investigation just now. Silvio from Billboard, right? There's like probably five or six of them that come up with the, the charts with Nielsen and everything. Last Thursday, Ariana was stuck with you, submitted 60,000 units last second. With the investigation, we found this. They purchased half of those things with six credit cards. When we asked where was those six credit cards linked to, Billboard said we can't disclose that information. Understand this. They bought 30,000 and so units with six credit cards. Six Credit cards. Now, again, you're going to enjoy your number one. Explain how you buy 30000 with six credit cards, right? Now, let me let me explain to you something. They, they don't want... Billboard doesn't want no one to know this. Now, I understand why Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj say Billboard... Like, we used to look up to number one. I mean, to Billboard. But now, it's like, we know you can... It's all manipulated, right? It's all fabricated. You can buy number ones. This is what these artists do, right? And it's not fair. I want you to see this. Gooba streamed 50 million streams. And, and this is what they're counting only. 50 million streams, right? They only counted... Look what Billboard counts. They only counted 31 million. Billboard illegally disqualified 20 million streams so it can... Drop down and the people who bought the number one, which was stuck with you, can go to number one. Look at this. 31 million, which places us at 38 points. When in fifth place, you were stuck at 32 points. Six credit cards buys you 30. Six credit. Listen. You can buy number ones on Billboard. I'm letting you know that. We just did a whole investigation and their best answer was, we can't disclose that information. Now, Billboard, if you want to explain to all the hardworking artists out there, the hardworking artists that, and established artists at that, because there's a lot of established artists right now that don't get number ones and don't understand why. It's like looking at an apple, right? An apple sometimes is, is most likely red, right? There's green apples, but just look at this. There's apples that are red, right? And you're looking at an apple, and this is what we did with Billboard. Yo, explain how you deduct. If there's 50 million streams, right, on Google, why only count 30 million, right? So it's like looking at an apple and say, I, I'm obviously looking at you and you're red, but you're not, but you're telling us it's not red. You got caught cheating red-handed, right? And say, no, we can't disclose that information. We can't. I want the world to know. You can buy number ones. If you're part of a label, just say, listen, I want part of my budget. Just buy me a number one record. Because that's what you're doing, right? And it's not fair to artists who work. I got the biggest record. Let, let, let's show you Google, right? Compared to these other records. And if you want to compete with this, this is in one week, right? Zoom in on that. 
if you want to compete, this is 184 million and you count in 30 million streams and disqualify everything else because billboard. Yeah, man. So what do y'all think, man? Do you agree with Tekashi 6 9 um, Some persons even say that he's snitching on the bill. <laughs> some persons say that Tekashi is snitching on the billboard. Do you think that this is snitching? Or do you think that he's just expressing the way how he feels? Also, do you think that Tekashi can go against the billboard? Do you think that he will be blacklisted? Or do you think the billboard actually needs Tekashi 6 9 to make them hot because let's just be real Takashi right now with the attention that he's getting he's definitely the most trending artist right now and I mean he's even trending more than the R&B singers the pop everyone you know so I mean Takashi he's doing something right and with that being said remember I was telling y'all that he called out Nicki Minaj and Jay-Z's name in this whole billboard equation he went on his insta snap and he said billboard you cheated Jay-Z and Nicki Minaj were right people by their number ones nothing is real you guys are fraud so Takashi is just calling the billboard a fraud also saying that Nicki Minaj and Jay-Z were right because I guess they were exposing the billboard at one point and I'm going to show y'all the top 100 for this week on the billboard so you can see that Ariana Grande is in number one and Goobers at number three um, Dojo Cat and Nicki Minaj is at number two. Y'all can see it on the screen right now. But we also see where 6 ix Dummy Boy album re-enters this week. Billboard 200, the top 200. Yes, his Dummy Boy album is back on it. Also, it's up 273% in sales. So Tekashi is getting a whole lot of attention. People are feeding this guy all the attention. But I gotta say, Tekashi is winning and losing at the same time. He's winning because he's definitely selling a lot of records. He's getting a lot of streams. But he's losing because all that money that he's making, he will never be able to enjoy it like he would want to. And after 6 9 posted that video on Instagram, I guess Ariana Grande felt some type of way. And she reposted the Hot 100 Billboard thing and she said in the caption, Thank you to everybody who supported this song, this cause and made this happen. We love you so much. There's so much to celebrate today. However, I would like to say a few things. Anyone who knows me or has followed me for a while knows that the numbers aren't the driving force in anything I do. I'm grateful to sing, grateful to have people who want to listen, grateful to even be here at all. I didn't have a number one for the first five years of my career and it didn't upset me at all because from the bottom of my heart, music is everything to me. My fans are everything to me. I promise I couldn't ask for another effing thing so with this celebration today i would like to address a few things which i don't usually do i don't give my energy to drama or strange accusations normally but this has gone a little too far my fans bought the song justin's fans bought the song our fans bought this song never more than four copies each as the rules state there are ride or die mother efforts and i thank god every day that i have them in my life not just when they fight for us to win, even when I ask them not to do as I did this week, but because they are some of the greatest people I know, sales cones far more than stream. You cannot discredit this as hard as you try. To anybody that is displeased with the placement of the chart this week, are we spending their time racking their brain, thinking as of many ways as they can to discredit hardworking women, and only to women for some reason. I ask you to take a moment to humble yourself. Be grateful you're even here. That people want to listen to you at all. It's a blessed position to be in. I've had a lot of almost number ones in my career. And I never said a damn thing. Because I feel grateful to even be here. To want to be heard even at all. And you should feel that way too. Congratulations to all my talented ass peers in the top 10 this week. Even number 3. And thank you to Billboard for this honor. And thank you to everybody who helped us raise a lot of money for a very important and cause this week love you all a lot and obviously she said even number three y'all know that she's talking about Tekashi 69 obviously because he's at number three now Tekashi responded to this with another video and this is what he had to say this video to address Ariana I don't want you to think that I'm coming at you not saying that you're not talented not saying that you can't sing you're a beautiful singer 
You just don't understand my pain. My frustration is from Billboard. I speak for the millions of kids that come from nothing, right? Let me show you something. For all of this, we come from some place, right? This is where I came from before all of this fame. This is actually my home where me, my mom, my brother, his girlfriend, my girlfriend, and my daughter lived. This was the first computer I bought to learn how to edit videos myself. Like, this was like, I spent my last couple of dollars buying this shit. Now, I want you to understand that I come from a different, different background than you, right? My mom used to collect cans, right? On the street. I used to bust tables, be a dishwasher. I'm going to show you what... Oh, my lips look worse! Here's a piece of candy. Yay, I love candy! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, So guys, I guess Tekashi is not discrediting anything that Ariana Grande is not talented and, you know, stuff like that. But he's just trying to make his point across. Um, and if I was Ariana Grande, yes, I would feel some sort of way. I would feel like Tekashi is trying to take away from my, what would I say, from my talent. So yeah, guys, how do you feel about this? Hopefully Tekashi is not gaining more enemies as he already have like one million enemies. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. But what do y'all think about this, guys? Leave it in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If you don't, you can hit the thumbs down button. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed. And make sure you turn the notification bell on to get notified whenever I post new content. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.